23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. 46,397 cases of COVID have been reported by public health during the pandemic, which means one in 20 people have tested positive for the virus. Today, during the Kern County Board of Supervisors meeting, they talked about where most of these cases are coming from. 60% um, or more of our cases are household contacts from the original positive case. And then because people are not isolating in their home from the sick person, because oftentimes they don't know they're sick, that's how everybody in the home gets infected by the sometimes asymptomatic, the person that doesn't have any symptoms, but it's still carrying the disease. Supervisor Maggard through the chair, that's correct. Thank you. These numbers are also increasing because of Thanksgiving and the winter holidays coming up and people spending more time inside with their families. Rosedale Union School District says its students are going back to distance learning. That decision was made today after the district says its staffing levels are low. The, they return to distance learning. I should say the return to distance learning has nothing to do with COVID-19 spikes in recent weeks. Starting Thursday, Freedom Middle Schoolers will be asked to get off campus. And on Monday, all other students in the district will begin distance learning again. If you're looking for another way to get back to the community, the Bakersfield BMW will be holding a toy drive tomorrow at 5400 Gasoline Alley Drive here in Bakersfield. You can drop off new unwrapped toys from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. If you can't make it out tomorrow at that time, they will have boxes outside where you can drop off a toy. And a slightly warmer day in the forecast for our Wednesday. 67 degrees high temperature in Bakersfield. That's almost 10 degrees warmer than average for this time of year. A couple of 70s up in the Kern River Valley, so a pretty nice December day. Good amount of cloud cover and the winds are actually going to be dying down. That's as this big area of low pressure breaks down, but eventually we're going to see a northwest wind developing. You can see those strong uh, arrows coming out of the north to west, and that is those breezy conditions we're tracking later in the forecast. So Thursday night into Friday, winds are going to pick up here in the valley. Not going to be breezy all day long, but a brief period of stronger winds. You see those temperatures cooling down into Friday and then kind of staying in that range as we head into next week. Stronger winds as usual in the mountains and the deserts for both Thursday and Friday, and it looks like the potential for another round of winds on Monday. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.